All right, so we're out at our campsite. We're out camping this weekend, and we're gonna put our tarp up because it's supposed to rain. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So there's a couple things that we got as far as equipment goes. This box here is pretty much dedicated to the tarp and everything that we need for it. Uh, this has got all our ropes and you know, pretty much just ropes. Uh, I've also got some poles here. These are actually TP poles I bought off of Amazon. 10 foot poles, or Amazon or eBay, I can't remember. Um, they're TP poles that are 10 foot long and they work perfect for what I need. I used to use just branches that I'd find out in the woods, but that was kind of inconsistent and I was never sure if I was gonna find something that I needed that was the right size. So I just went ahead and bought those poles and that's what I've been using ever since. Um, and then here we've got a 16 by 20 foot tarp we've used a smaller tarp and we've used a larger tarp the smaller one was a little too small and the bigger one was a little too big so i'm hoping that this is going to be perfect for what we need for the size of our uh, the footprint of our campsite here so what we're going to do first is uh, actually before we even set up anything we make sure we found both of our anchor trees for the center rope uh, so we went ahead and did that we got one there and we got one on the other side as well and then we put the made sure we put the tent and the screen tent underneath where the rope is going to be uh, just to make sure that everything is centered underneath the tarp. So what we'll do first is find our center rope then we'll take our center rope and we're going to go loop it around one of our anchor trees. We're going to start with that one over there. We got that side anchored, roughly 10 foot-ish. We want to keep it right around the 10 foot range. Don't want to be too high and we don't want it to be too low. So now we're going to stretch the rope across the two tents and go from there. Now I got it over the branch, you need to get it. I'm going to use this pole to kind of maneuver it into place. I don't usually like using pine trees as my base trees because they're all sappy and sticky, but that is all we have today for options. Alright, we're going to leave the rope loose for now and we're going to go ahead and drape the tarp over top of it. I like to use the brown and green tarps because it blends in a little bit better. I do not like using blue tarps because it just doesn't doesn't look nice at all. So what we need to do next is secure the tarp to the rope. So we got to figure out where the center of this tarp is at. Uh, usually do that just by counting the grommets. I'm gonna grab a carabiner, loop it through the center grommet, and attach that to the center rope. So now, no matter what. This tarp is going to be secured to the rope and it's not going to slide back and forth. So we're going to do that on both ends. And then we'll get this rope tightened up. And make sure we're not over top any branches or anything.
All right, so we got pretty tight. Usually you're not gonna get as tight as you want it anyways. Um, and these ropes are kind of stretchy, so you usually have to go back and tighten them up anyways. So now that it's mostly to where I want it to be in the center, I'm gonna go ahead and put the side ropes out and secure the corners down. So what I'm doing now is basically just getting each corner rope attached to the tree just loosely until I get everything uh, pretty much straightened out just right to how I want it. Alright, so now that we have each corner tied off loosely, we gotta look down the middle rope and make sure we've got everything straight. So you can see it's kind of off a little bit to the right uh, from where the tree is at. So we're gonna tighten this side rope on this side and try to pull that a little bit tighter just to make everything a little bit straighter. Ideally, you wanna have, if you're tying off a tree on that side, you wanna have it on the exact opposite side on this side. But that usually doesn't happen because trees just don't grow that way. It's also gonna create little pockets where water like to sit and we'll address that in a little bit but right now we want to get our side ropes tightened and our middle rope tightened as much as we can so it's good to keep in mind you want to keep your rope stored off the ground because if it rains you don't want them getting soaking wet it just keeps them a little bit drier that way when you put them away everything's nice and dry all right so now that our corners are all tied down and tightened up we're gonna go ahead and put up our center poles These are nice because they break down right in the middle. I think we're only going to need one center pull for this tarp. Having a metal piece. We're going to need a piece of tape for this. It's a nice piece of duct tape works fine. Alright, grab that center rope. And cut notches in the tops of these holes for the rope to fit into. And then I'll just put the rope right in that notch, maybe. There we go. Then take that piece of duct tape and tape it right over top of the rope. This way if you got wind or something, you know your pole's not gonna get knocked off of the rope. And you just put it right up. And then you got your center pole. And that should hold pretty good, I think. So this should work pretty good. Um, you might have to adjust a few more corners and stuff. Uh, especially over time, uh, ropes get loose and you have to tighten them anyways. Uh, especially after it rains. Um, speaking of rain, like I said, sometimes there's pockets that are formed. So we got one that's kind of over here. So what I like to do for that is I've got a rack that I've tied a rope around. I've got a carabiner on there and I'll just attach it to a grommet. That way that folds down that side of the tarp and any water will pretty much run right off of that part of the tarp. It works pretty good. So that pretty much does it. If you have a bigger tarp, it um, helps if you use another pole. But uh, that's pretty much how we set up our tarps. Works pretty good. Keeps us dry when it rains and it works. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're interested in more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one guys.